All right, so if like me, you wanna learn a bunch of new languages, but you're not sure which one to start with first, then you know what, ask yourself these three questions and it will be much easier to decide. All right, so I'm a pretty indecisive and ambivalent person, kinda, not really. Oh, I kind of am. But when it comes to deciding like what language to go for first, I think I pretty much knew what I wanted to do. If you're having trouble trying to figure out like what language to start with first, then you know what, ask yourself these questions. The first one, why do you want to learn another language? All right, is it just for fun? Is it because you want to give yourself a leg up in business? Is it because you want to go on holiday soon and you're trying to decide like where to go? Because each one has different answers. For example, if you want to make yourself more valuable to companies, like you might want to consider Cantonese because that's the dominant language in Hong Kong. You might want to consider Russian. You definitely want to consider German because they're pretty massive economic power at the minute, especially in Europe, I suppose. Or if you live in America, you might want to consider Spanish because there's so many Spanish speakers. All right, the second question you want to consider is, do you want to start with an easy-ish language? I'm not saying learning languages is easy. I'm just saying for English speakers, it's easier to learn French, for example, or Dutch. I think that's probably the easiest language for English speakers to learn than it is to learn Cantonese or Russian or Arabic. All right, if you're a coward like me and you will start with the easier language before you transition into the harder ones. And if you wanna learn how you learn languages before you start to tackle the bigger ones, then you might wanna consider French. You might wanna consider the Dutch. You might wanna consider Spanish. I think Spanish is supposedly easier before you try those other ones. And the third question you wanna consider is what kind of resources do you have available to you? For example, maybe you have a friend that speaks Portuguese it might make a lot of sense for that to be your first language because at the very least, while you're learning these new words, you can tell them to only speak to you in Portuguese so that you learn faster and that you can get a good handle on the rhythms of the language and you can feel more comfortable when you're speaking the language. Because obviously speaking the language can be pretty daunting, but if you have a friend that already speaks the language, then it's gonna be easier. You're gonna feel much more comfortable to kind of throw yourself into it and take risks. Also, if you're trying to learn a language like Osa, and I'm probably saying that completely wrong, then there's probably not gonna be as many resources available to you than if you were to learn French. I'm not saying don't do it, I'm just saying it's one of the things to take into consideration when you're trying to figure out what language to attack first. Because don't get me wrong, I wanna learn Corsa, if I'm even saying that right, but I'm, it's not gonna be the first language I learn because I'm not insane. All right, if after all that you're still unsure of what the first language you learn should be, then, you know what, just write a bunch of languages on a board, close your eyes and point at one. Like, just whatever. Or if you have two, flip a coin, see what happens, done. There are so many benefits to learning a language, like, I don't know, communicating with people outside of your culture on a deeper level, let alone the cognitive benefits that can come from doing something challenging. Just jump in, just learn one. Just any, any of them, just learn one. Today, why wait till tomorrow? Do it today, just do it. All right, so with all those things considered, the language I've decided to start with, surprise, surprise, is gonna be French. And you know what, maybe I'll do German and Italian at the same time. I don't know why I wanna do that, I just do. I just wanna see what happens, maybe, maybe. So for the next few months, expect lots of videos on French culture and learning the French language. All right, so if you found this video useful, if you got something from it, then don't forget to subscribe because you're gonna get a lot more content like this. Or if you have any suggestions as to the kind of content you want me to make, then leave a comment. And okay, I'm done. I don't think I have anything else to say on this topic. Expect another video very soon. I'll see you in the next one.